Yo guys, WASD Mitch here, and I have got some news. So we got uh, like almost 100 likes on that video, so thank you guys, that's amazing. So I'm going to start off with the Ultra IWNet part of the tutorial. So yeah, let's get this shaz started. So open up Ultra IW, your uh, Ultra IWNet folder, you want to download it from ultraiw.net. Uh, then just go over to the download section and it's pretty easy, you just download the folder. So yeah, you download Ultra IWNet, open it up, go to your players folder, and open up your config underscore mp. Uh, so we're gonna make like three or four changes in this. So you wanna bind your W key to walk forward. It's gonna say plus forward and then it's... Okay, one sec. This is what it's gonna look like for you guys. Your bind W key is gonna say uh, bind W space uh, plus forward. You want it so right now all the W key does is walk forward. So you want to change that to uh, make it move forward and to change the color of your kill feed. So you just uh, type in that code right there that you see on the screen. It'll be in the description, so you can just copy and paste it. So yeah, and then just close the little thingy. So, uh, what the fuck am I even talking? Close the little thingy, what the hell? Okay, so once you're done that, move down, and then go to set A space CG underscore chat height. It'll be 5 or 6 or maybe 4, I don't know what it'll say, but you just want to change it to 0. That'll just take away the chat on the side of your screen so it looks better in montages and it's less distracting. Then you want to go to set A space CG underscore field of view. It's going to say 65, change that to 80 that just changes uh, your gun so it'll move far it oh my god I can't even talk it'll move far back so when you crop it it looks normal uh, then you wanna go down and we're gonna change a couple settings on the kill feed so you wanna scroll down until you get to set a space con underscore game message window game message window zero line count it's gonna say four change that to six uh, what that does, it changes the kill feed from four lines to six lines. Uh, that's been done in like COD 4 before, and it looks really sick. And it just adds that kind of like, whoa, how'd you do that kind of thing to your montage. Uh, so yeah, make sure it says zero. It won't work if you did if you changed it to the one, two, three, or f one, two, or three. So yeah, make sure that's zero. Game message window zero line count. Change that to six to six, what am I even saying, to six, and then underneath that, set a space con underscore game message window zero message time, wow that's a long word thing, it's going to say five, uh, delete that and write eight, so we're doing that to adjust how long the kill feed lasts, so normally it'll fade away after five seconds, now it's going to fade away after eight seconds, uh, we're doing this just because there's more lines, so I don't know, it just makes sense if there's more lines, maybe it should last a little bit longer. So now you're done that, you want to exit out of there, make sure you save it. And then you want to open up your, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, and you want to open up Ultra IWNet like the actual application. And you're going to change a couple in-game settings. So I'm just going to pause this, and then I'm going to move over to Frap so I can record in-game, so yeah. Yo guys, so I'm back. Well, yeah, I didn't really go anywhere, but I'm doing, now I'm in-game. So, right off the bat, you're going to see that the, it's kind of stretched out and looks kind of retarded. You're going to have to play in this, uh, in this resolution and this aspect ratio if you want to be able to crop your gun properly. Uh, you do get used to it, like, after two or three games, I was just, like, top fragging every game. Like, after a couple games, you, do, you get used to it so it's not really a big deal so the settings for this will uh, the settings for this you wanna go into advanced video make sure it's uh, aspect ratio is 4 by 3 you don't want it to say auto or 16 by 9 you wanna make sure it's 4 by 3 also uh, I like to have specular map on just cause it adds a nice like glow effect to your guns and stuff it looks really nice uh, and just whatever you can play on for texture resolution also uh, this is supposed to be 1280 by 1024 
So 1280x1024. I don't know why mine's on 800 by 600, but I can't change that while I'm recording or it'll just crash the game. So make sure this is 1280 by 1024 and also make sure this is standard 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So, yeah, then you can just go join a game and you're going to have a far back gun. It's going to look sick. Um and also when you walk forward it's going to change the color of your kill feed. So I'm going to show you guys an example and I'm going to show you how to crop it properly. So yeah, you just go into your game and you just start recording. Uh it'll all work out. Okay, now I'm going to show you what it, what your recording is going to look like. So I'm going to exit out of the game and go back to Camtasia recording. Okay, I am back. And I just showed you guys the settings in game that you want. So now, what it's going to look like is this. This is what your recording is going to look like. As you can see, there's six uh, kill feeds. Or there's uh, six lines. It's red and black. But also, your game's going to be uh, stretched out across your screen. Uh, when you go into the recording, it's just a square. You want it to be a square. That means you did it right. So yeah, after you record, it's going to look like this. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to crop it properly. So we are going to go into your Sony Vegas. Just let it load up. Then drag your clip that you want into it. And then you're going to go click on this little event pan crop tool. Click that. And you want to click the preset. Go down to 16 by 9 widescreen TV aspect ratio. Okay, that's going to bring your kill feed into the bottom left hand corner. And it's going to make your gun just go like it would normally. And it looks so sick. Um, also, there's no, uh, you can't really tweak the con, like the game, the game colors and stuff. So, you want to make sure that you've got some sick color curves. So what I like to do, I go to Magic Bullet Looks. If you don't have it, you can just go to your color curves. Uh, I've got a preset. I'll just put that on really quick, actually. And it looks so sick. Uh, it's. I'll show you guys before and after. But this, uh, let me just destroy the, let me just, oh, I can't talk. I'm just saying, let me just. Okay, so this is before, this is after. It looks so sick. Uh, hopefully there's going to be a lot more montages like this in the future for Modern Warfare 2. Uh, yeah. So as you can see, kill phase in the bottom left-hand corner, black and red uh, colors. And there's six slots for it. And the gun is cropped perfectly. It is so beautiful. So, yeah. Like, comment, and favorite on the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Oh! No, I'm missing something. I'm going to say something else. So, if you did not play hardcore, this is a hardcore game mode, by the way. There's actually no way of taking away the minimap unless you're playing hardcore there is a uh, you can go into your config and try to disable it but in Modern Warfare 2 the minimap will always be there it just won't show anything but it'll still be a square with blue background so uh, there are ways of getting around this I'm gonna just gonna show you guys uh, an example of what I'm talking about so this is not hardcore hopefully it loads yeah, this is not hardcore. As you can see, there's a. Uh, yeah, it's just not hardcore. So I'm gonna just disable the resample really quick. So what it looks like when it's cropped, you go to the event pan crop tool, and you want to go down to 16 by 9. So as you can see, there is a. Uh, it shows the little time thing there. It shows this mini map, and it shows a little bit of the compass. So what you want to do you want to go back to your event pan crop tool and you just want to bring the black lines a little bit up so it'll go over top of this it looks fine on youtube videos like yeah it looks sick so you want to bring it up a little oh not like that actually let me go back to 16 by 9 real quick 
so what you want to do make sure that's not checked and just bring it up so that uh, it's still doing that well you can do it like that but let me just fix it 16 by 9 make sure that one's not checked and you just wanna put black lines over top of it so only the E will be showing there or whatever letter it is and there won't be any uh, text there and then to get rid of this E as you can see on this with that those settings you can't even see the E because the the color curves are on it and then that there's a slight blur which it actually looks so sick the blur like let me go to a good frame so you guys can see like that you can't even see the compass on the final product and there's still black lines so the only really thing is the minimap but that's also a little out of focus and it's not really a big deal towards the final product because as you can see with my settings for this I might just be mumbling on right now and you guys can't even understand what I'm saying but with Magic Bullet looks I have the edge softness I put on the edge softness which is right here in lens uh, and I set it to just go over top of the gun so you can't really see the compass because it blurs it out just a tiny bit just brings it out of focus and also the minimap so uh, when you're actually watching the final video you're gonna be like focusing over here you're not even gonna like tell that's there and it's gonna look so sick guys so yeah that's how you that is how you crop your gun to be at the bottom you get your kill feed in the left hand corner uh, you get six things on your kill feed you get no chat and yeah I think that's all so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video this has been uh, how to do an ultra IW net I'm going to make another video on how to do it in Modern Warfare 2 shortly, probably tomorrow. Uh, I might be able to upload it tonight, but there's still some things I'm trying to figure out. I've got, I've like, I've got, uh, I know how to do it, but I just want to make sure that you all don't get banned in doing it. So I'm just doing a little bit more research. I have figured out how to do it, but I'm not sure if I want to like tell everyone how to not get banned because then everyone's gonna like use hacks and stuff and they won't get banned for doing it so I'm just trying to do a little bit more research before I actually release uh, how to do this in Modern Warfare 2 without getting banned so yeah that'll be up tomorrow or the or the day after so stop bugging me about it uh, I hope you enjoyed the Ultra IW net tutorial if you don't have Ultra IW net I really 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 strongly recommend that you get it because it is so sick it's like the same as Modern Warfare 2 but it's free and it's uh, got dedicated servers and like there's no restrictions to the game like you can do all this without being banned like why should you even be banned for doing it right so yeah thanks for watching this guys I uh, hope you enjoyed it leave a like and a comment and I will see you guys in my next video